Also topping our news here at 6, two men facing charges after allegedly making threats against two prominent Democratic lawmakers, as well as a state judge, both allegedly angry over the outcome of the November election. Dana Nessel's office says the men made violent threats against Senator Debbie Stabenow, Congresswoman Elissa Slotkin, and Michigan Court of Claims Judge Cynthia Stevens. Our Mara McDonald is live downtown tonight. Only one of these men's, men is from Michigan, right, Mara? Kimberly, that's right. The other man is from Georgia, and now both of them are facing multiple misdemeanors and fines. Let me show you. According to the complaint from Nestle's office, 62-year-old Daniel Thompson, who is from Harrison, Michigan, made calls to both Senator Stabenow's office as well as Congresswoman Slotkin. In a voicemail to Senator Stabenow, Thompson is alleged to have said he was a Republican, angry with the outcome of the November election, that he had joined a militia, and there would be violence if the November election results weren't overturned. It's very concerning that we are seeing uh, this happening more and more, that's for sure. Um, I hope you understand I don't want to get into specifics uh, to inflame the situation any further, but it's really, um, it's really unfortunate. He spoke to a staffer in Slotkin's office for more than an hour, claiming more violence was coming and people would die tonight in a statement. Congresswoman Slotkin says in part, while I can't comment on the specifics of an ongoing case, there are two broad points that are clear. Myself and my colleagues in elected office, particularly women, are unfortunately no strangers to violent, threatening calls and comments, and it has got to stop. The second man charged isn't even from Michigan. He's from Georgia. 43-year-old Clinton Stewart, who allegedly left threatening voicemails for Michigan Court of Claims Judge Cynthia Stevens, who he accused of being an activist judge who delivered the election to Joe Biden. Back here live, Thompson is facing multiple charges. Stewart facing one. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Yeah. Okay, Mara, thank you.